Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to bring you a little update of how the roof garden is looking. So it's been a few weeks since I gave it a really good tidy up. It had taken a battering from the storms that we had at the start of the year here in the UK. So I've given it a really good tidy up. I've been repotting a few bits out there and I also previously worked on my last video with Miracle Grow and their Performance Organics range. This video isn't sponsored but I do feel that that product has really helped everything grow. So I want to show you how everything's looking out there and just how much things have grown because it's all looking really healthy and I'm really pleased with how it's all looking out there. I thought today as well well, we'd do a little bit more repotting because I managed to get my hands on some compost and I thought it would be a good idea to repot some of the plants that just are getting a little bit too big for their pots. Some of them really are fighting for space, particularly like in the window boxes out there. So I thought we'd separate those and put them into some new pots of their own as well. And I'll just give you a full tour of the roof garden to show you how it's all looking now that we are in May. So let's get straight into it. If you're new here, do click subscribe. I post new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this little roof garden tour and update, then give this video a little thumbs up. I hope you enjoy it. So here we are out on the roof garden and the plan for today is to do some repotting. As you can see the lavender and the geraniums in this window box are starting to fight for space a little bit. They've really grown a lot and they've all bloomed which I'm really pleased with. We've got the pinks and the reds coming through now but they are bursting out of the pot. These guys are coming on really well too. The hibiscus has grown nicely. These are the ones that I picked up in Poundland. We have a random bowl here. I had some nuts out on the roof garden the other night and forgot to take that in with me. The pear tree is coming on nicely but it looks like something's been munching on it. And this is the box tree that was attacked by the caterpillars. So I'm just having a quick look in here to see if there's any signs of any. I can't spot any today but it looks like they have been having a good munch on the leaves. This one's coming on much better. I don't think there's any caterpillars in this one. And as you can see, I trimmed this one recently, but already it's really growing quite bushy again. So I think it's due another trim. The clematis is growing quite nicely. It's starting to attach itself to this Ikea hanging pot and I think this will be blooming very soon. We have some succulent babies here, so I think what I may do is remove these soon and try to propagate them. I think we've got one, two, three all the way around the sides of this succulent, so that can be a future little project. And down here I'm just draining some water off this grass. It doesn't look like it's been draining very well. We've had a lot of rain here recently in London, so Things have been watered really well, but the odd thing does need to be drained. This is the raspberry plant from Poundland. No sign of anything on that yet. And here we have some wild bird seed mix as well that just needs the water draining off from the rain that we've had. As well as the plants growing, the weeds are growing too, so I'm just removing any that I see as I go around the roof garden. And this grass has come on really nicely too. Look how tall it's grown and it's started to get these really pretty tips on it, so I'm really pleased with how this grass is looking. And everything over here is looking quite healthy, including the fairy garden. Onto the cherry tree which is doing really well. We have lots of new shoots at the base of it which are all new for the past month and then up the top here we have lots of cherries on the way which I'm very excited about. We'll just have to hope that Mr Squirrel doesn't come along and eat them before I get to them. Down here the mint has exploded so I think it would be rude not to say it's mojito time soon. I'll definitely cut some of this today I think because it is looking so big. We also have some wild strawberries appearing in amongst the mint. So I'm going to clear some space to give those a bit more room so that they can grow and we'll have some wild strawberries very soon. 
And I'm just going to give this a little tidy up. We have a random clothes dryer out here and there's some evidence from my birthday celebrations as well. So I'm going to pop this bottle into the recycling. Talking of birthdays, this is a gift that came from my friend Kate McCabe. It's this little heart that she thrifted. I've just pulled the ribbon off because I thought it wouldn't do so well outside and I think I prefer the simple look on this without the ribbon. So I've just hung that up on the cherry tree and it looks really nice hanging there. So now I'm going to cut some of the larger mint leaves and I'm going to take those down to the kitchen when I finished out here. These will be really nice to go into cooking and into any drinks that I make up and I'm sure there'll be plenty more on the way as well. And now it's time to do some repotting. So I actually managed to pick up this multi-purpose compost when I was picking up some essentials in Poundland. I've got a pot here that was previously used for a plant that died. So I'm just digging out any dead roots from the soil in this because I don't want those to be in there getting in the way of the plant I'm going to put in it. So I'm just removing all of the old roots and I'm going to take one of the lavenders from the window box and plant this up into here. Now that the lavender's out of the window box, that's allowed some more room for the geraniums to spread out. So I'm just adding some more compost in any of the holes that are left behind. And I'm just looking for a spare pot in my bench where I store any old pots that I want to use for a different time got one here so I'm using that to repot this guy that was getting very big in his pot as well I think even this pot's probably a bit too small still so when I get a bigger pot I will be replanting this one again because I do think the roots will need a little bit more room but I'm just working with what I've got at the moment so hopefully this will still be an improvement and allow him to grow a little bit more in the next few weeks And someone wanted to say hello on the vlog, so Mr. Snail's getting his airtime now. Next up, I'm doing this rosemary. I'm just going to give this a slightly bigger pot as well, because I feel like this might grow quite nicely, and it's always handy to have out in the garden for any cooking. This is really nice for roast potatoes. Back inside, I'm giving my hands a good wash. And then I'm washing all of the mint that I picked. I found that putting it in a jug kind of made it a bit easier and gave it a good soak and then just drained that off. And then what I'm doing is taking the nicest mint leaves that I can find and placing them into this ice cube maker. So this has a design that can kind of make like shot glasses, that sort of thing. So I thought we'd try to make some mint ice cubes with it. I read online that if you submerge the mint leaves fully in water they will keep their green colour when you freeze them. So if you do make some ice cubes be sure that they're covered in the water and then hopefully they'll stay nice and green for you as well. And then I'm filling up the ice cube maker with the water before putting that in the freezer. And while we have the mint out, I thought we'd make ourselves a nice little drink to enjoy out on the roof garden. So I'm just squeezing some lime into my glass and adding some mint leaves. Then I'm going in with some brown sugar. So we're going to call this like a virgin mojito kind of thing. I did think I had some soda water, but unfortunately I didn't. So I'm using some of this long tail blood orange mix that they sent over to me and this is delicious. 
So back outside, the sun is starting to set, but we can see how the plants are looking now. The geraniums have a lot more space and the lavender is looking much happier now that they're in their same pots. So basically, all my pot plants are now social distancing just like we are, but they're still all getting on. Everything looks much happier and with the rain and the sunshine we've been having, I think they'll be doing really well out here. So here is how the ice looks once that's done with the mint inside it. So I was really pleased with how those turned out. And of course, they're really handy to keep in the freezer as well whenever you want a refreshing drink. So there we go, I really hope you enjoyed this roof garden update with me. Let me know if you've been doing any gardening yourself, if you do have a garden, or if you've been planting anything in any window boxes, or if you've just been looking after your plants at home. I'd love to hear how they're all getting on. And don't forget, you can always tag me in pictures over on Instagram so I can see how things are getting on as well. So my main account is Mr. Carrington. I post daily stories on there. And I've also got my home account as well, which is Mr. Carrington Home, where I post pictures of my home Home and of the roof garden so I'll always keep you up to date over there of how everything's looking too and I'd love to see you over there as well. So yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video do give it a little thumbs up if you did and if you're new here I would love it if you subscribed for more as well you can always hit the notification bell too so you never miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!